Hello, trading has closed on August the 12th, 2021. We always start with our disclaimer that we'll get it down to business. It's my trading plan for tomorrow, Friday the 13th of August, 2021. Just remember, I can be completely wrong and all trades should be at your own risk. I'm always looking for new trading ideas. I have some ideas of things that might work, observations I've made, but I really need a computer analysis to see if they have any validity. And I don't know how to program in TradeStation. If someone knows how to program, willing to do it free, willing to work with me, I'd appreciate getting an email, mejt.trades at gmail.com. The ideas work, it'll help us. We're all playing for the same team. They don't work, well, that's the way it goes. Let's go over our calls first. We said at some point we should start dropping. We thought we had pending diagonal triangle. Said it wasn't the only count, but I thought it was the most logical one. We should start dropping pretty much from the open. Oh, these are my calls for next week's patterns. Well, we dropped pretty much from the open, and we'll get in later on to see if this kills the pattern or not. Kills the count or not. But dropping from the open and reversing isn't really what I called for. So even though we dropped from the open, I'm going to call that one misleading, at, at, at least, if not wrong. Um, look for the pattern with the early high. I know a lot of the people are going to look at this pattern and say it's nearly low. We'll go over why I still think it's nearly high. We had a gap. Typically, the pattern has an early high, a rally in the middle of the day, and a late low. When there is a gap, the early high typically splits in, in half. Take the midway of these points. There's your time for the early high. Rally in the middle of the day, late low, they're pretty much on time. Now, how do you know it's not the pattern with the early low? I mean, it sure looks like it. Well, I base this on a 32-day calendar day cycle. And if it is the right count, the next day should have the early high, and the day after should have the early low. So let's go back about 32 days. Um, every 32 days doesn't really fall during the week. Sometimes it comes on the weekend, but this is this is the typical pattern. There's an early high. There's a there's an early high. It's a rally in the middle of the day and a late low. That's what usually happens, and that's what happened April too. Now sometimes though. We get a rally, even though the times still work out. It's not what usually happens, but um, I did this several years ago, and frankly, this is a higher incidence of rallying than I recall in the pattern. But the way to tell is to look what happens the next two days. If the call's right, the day after this should be a high, and the day after that should be a low. Now, sometimes those fall on the weekend, so you have to pick a date, like February 1st of this year, where I call the pattern with the early high, and you have to see if the next day has an early high and next day has an early low, because if I'm wrong, it'll be the exact opposite. Well, this is the pattern with the early high, and that's the pattern with the early low. So even though this was a this was a rally day. It still has the early. It still had a change in trend early, a midday rally, and a late low, and that's the early high. And that's the pattern with the early low. Now we had another day like that, August of last year. This is a day with an early high, late low, but it was still a rally day. The day afterwards. 
the pattern with the early high. The day after that's the pattern with the early low. This is June of last year, June 22. Looks like you rally into the close, but the next day has the early high. Next day has the early low. So that's what I'm making the call based on the pattern. You split this in half for the early high. There's your late low. Here's your midday rally. And if I'm right, tomorrow still has the early high, and that's my call. Now during the day, BJT said this rally's false, gives us a target of 44.50.72. We have an optional target, 44.51.23. 95% chance of prints tomorrow. Unless we gap up smartly, that'll have to be my call. Now, usually when the day is a day with this pattern, it's a negative day. Although, based on what we just saw, it really is more often than I was used to when I worked this out. And when that happens, there should be a higher price printing. So we have a higher price called for by this pattern. We have lower prices called for by MeJT. Those conflict, but um, I'm not convinced that both of those things can't happen. I'm not convinced we can't see both higher and lower prices. So I'm just going to leave it like that. As far as the count goes, I don't think this one's going to work, even though it hasn't been killed yet. This last move up, I think you could count it as a three, so I'm not erasing it yet. But I think it more likely counts as a five, and that kills the whole idea. What I'd like to see is a big cap down right from the open to keep this alive, but I don't have anything saying that's going to happen. I don't always get what I want. And if that isn't the right idea, I don't really have another count that I'm happy with now, which makes it kind of a muddle picture for me tomorrow, which I'm hoping the early trade's going to clarify for me. So tomorrow's pattern has a early high. We could still gap down. There are lower targets. As we gap up smartly, they should print. Today's normally bullish, today's normally bearish pattern was bullish instead. Either we invalidate it early by gapping down smartly, or we see a higher price. I'm not going to make any additional predictions. Uh, this is more strength than I thought we'd see. If we gap down smartly, it doesn't really count, especially if we undercut this slow early, unless we have a news event of some kind. It's pretty difficult for me to see how that happens, but I've been surprised before. I'm still calling it the pattern with the early high. We have targets, they gap up, targets remain but not the time. And that's today's call.